Carter of the Backstreet Boys is facing allegations of sexual assault tonight. In Backstreet Boy Nick Carter physically assaulted and her in 2001 when she was 17 years old. We spoke with other women that Carter also assaulted and infected with HPV. He's spreading a sexually transmitted infection. They were all virgins when they were assaulted by Carter. Nick Carter is being sued for assaulting a disabled girl. This isn't the first time Nick has gotten in trouble. Through the years, many women have accused him of awful crimes, exploiting their virginity and taking it as his own. But now he may have met his match because this case is going to court. So let's get into it. It's time to expose Nick Carter. If you guys don't know who Nick is, he was once a child star and he's been working in the industry his entire life. When he grew older, he joined a boy band titled Backstreet Boys, and he's been performing alongside them ever since. If those don't ring any bells, you may have heard of his brother, Aaron Carter, because he recently passed away. On November 5th, Aaron Carter's body was found in his bathtub, surrounded by a bunch of different substances. And we all know that Aaron Carter struggles with mental health and drug addiction, but we still don't actually actually know the official cause of death. His family continues to mourn the loss, and his brother, Nick Carter, just posted this flyer for a benefit concert in Aaron's name. He posted this the same day that these latest allegations came out. So let's go ahead and break down these allegations, because the headlines read, Nick Carter sued for sexual battery, alleged incident during 2001 Backstreet Boys tour. A woman has come forward claiming Backstreet boy Nick Carter physically assaulted and her in 2001 when she was 17 years old. Shay Ruth, who is 39 now, has given permission for her name and face to be shown. Let's talk about Shay because back in 2001, she was 17 years old and she decided to go and attend a Backstreet Boys concert in Tacoma, Washington. Like a lot of these girls going to these boy band concerts, she was a big fan and she was waiting in line for an autograph when Nick approached her. Says the alleged assault happened at a fan meet and greet following a Backstreet Boys concert in Tacoma, Washington. She claims Carter invited her on a tour bus. So one one of the members of her favorite band invited her onto the tour bus, which sounds like a teenager's dream. I'd like to mention that Shay does have autism and cerebral palsy, which could add to her vulnerability in that situation. 39-year-old Shannon Ruth alleges that back in 2001, when she was 17, she was invited up by Carter onto the band's tour bus at a stop in Tacoma, Washington. Ruth, who has autism and cerebral palsy, his Carter gave her a drink that he called VIP juice. You guys heard that clip correctly because Nick Carter supposedly offered her a drink. Nick asked her if she wanted a drink and she asked for apple juice, but that's not what she got because he passed her a red colored drink and claimed that it was cranberry juice. He called it VIP juice and Shay claims that she did drink it because she didn't want to be rude, but she now believes it was a mix of alcohol and cranberry juice. She does recall that this drink tasted off, but she assumes that it was just alcohol, but then he took her on to this bus and instructed her to go into the bathroom with him. Shay claims that Nick pulled down his trousers and exposed himself to her. Then he forced her to perform orally on him. Hello, my name is Shay and I'm 39 years old and the last 21 years have been filled with pain, confusion, frustration, shame, and self-harm that are a direct result of Nick Carter raping me. What's really disgusting and foul about this situation is that Shay wanted nothing to do with it, and she was actually crying through the whole ordeal as Nick kept instructing her on what to do. So Nick forced her to perform orally on him in the bathroom and then made her go to the bed where he did everything else. And it's disgusting because after this, she told him that she was going to tell people and he threatened her. I'd also like to say that Carter tried to scare me into silence 
by saying no one would believe me if I told what happened. He was nasty and threatening, saying I would go to jail if I told. He also said he'd turn people against me because he was Nick Carter and he had the power to wreck my life. After my assault, I started hurting myself. Some of the things that Nick said to Shay are beyond forgiveness. He told her that people would not believe her and that he would turn people against her, calling her an R slur, little B word, that no one would believe. Keep in mind she has autism and cerebral palsy, so he's using that R word to bring up that situation. And if this couldn't get any worse, Shay actually contracted HPV afterwards. She was a virgin at the time and she had never been with anyone else. So um, it looks like Nick had given her this disease. I really praise Shay for being so open and vulnerable with this situation because it will help so many others. As you guys have seen, she did a press conference and she shared with everyone, even though I'm autistic and I live with cerebral palsy, I believe nothing has affected me more or had a more lasting impact on my life than what Nick Carter did and said to me. After he R-worded me, I remember him calling me an r -slur little b word and grabbing me and leaving a bruise on my arm that is significant because during our investigation we spoke with other women that carter also sexually assaulted and infected with hpv he's spreading a sexually transmitted infection that can cause vaginal warts and even cancer these women's stories are remarkably similar they were all virgins when they were sexually assaulted by carter and they were all infected with hpv so Shay is suing Nick Carter, and it looks like she's got three Jane Doe's with her who have very similar stories and who have also been infected with HPV due to Nick Carter's attacks. So you guys are probably wondering, how is Nick Carter responding to this? Well, his lawyer claims that for several years now, Shay has been manipulated into making false allegations about Nick, and that these allegations have changed repeatedly and materially over time. So they're claiming that Shay is being used, I guess, by someone else to create these allegations and to tear Nick down. They would really need some solid evidence when it comes to this. Like, does she have a parent who is planting this story? Why would a parent or someone be motivated to do this to Nick? And I think that they may be creating this narrative that she's being forced to create these allegations because Nick can still get in trouble for this. Thank God the statute of limitations are open and are creating an opportunity for her to get justice because she deserves it, but to bring Carter to account. So it looks like Shay has a chance to get justice here because she still can go after him for these crimes. And it actually turns out that she's only got about a month to file these until the statutes of limitations expire. So good for Shay for seeking that justice. And these allegations are already starting to have some impacts because the Backstreet Boys were supposed to be part of a Christmas special. But because of Nick Carter's allegations, they are back. Out. This is huge because the media and the industry, they like to ignore these allegations sometimes. I mean, sometimes they pick them up, sometimes they don't. And this isn't Nick Carter's first rodeo. In 2017, we learn that Nick Carter is accused of R-wording a singer in 2002. Her name is Melissa Schumann, and she's a singer and used to be part of a girl group named Dream. She was 18 back in 2002 when she claims that Nick Nick Carter assaulted her. She actually claims that they started speaking because their managers suggested they date for good PR, even though Melissa had a boyfriend at the time. I'm Nick Carter of the Backstreet Boys is the latest star to face sexual assault allegations. Melissa Schumann, an original member of the pop group Dream, says Carter raped her in 2002 while she and a friend were hanging out at his Santa Monica apartment. 
There is one discrepancy I want to mention before we break down this story, because some of the dates claim that this incident happened in 2002, while other articles claim that it happened in 2003. I'm not entirely sure how this happened, but we don't really know which year this occurred. Melissa claims that Nick invited her and a friend to his Santa Monica apartment. They were just casually hanging out and drinking, but in a very graphic blog post, which is now deleted, she claims that he he took her into the bathroom where he forcibly performed orally on her and then forced her to reciprocate. So they're in the bathroom and he's forcing this upon her, but she does not want to go all the way at all. Melissa claims that she told Nick that she did not want to go all the way because she was saving her virginity for her husband, but um, Nick wanted more, so he took it. Melissa claims when she told her manager about what happened, she told her to keep quiet because Nick Carter's legal team was too powerful and this would ruin her career. It's disgusting how these managers, these agents, these agencies, these record labels, all of these different firms will do anything in their power to keep the peace. So they will allow crimes to occur at these artists' expense. And unfortunately, Melissa can't pursue any charges because the statute of limitations has expired. But it looks like Shay does have a chance, and she's got three other Jane Doe's with similar stories. So Nick Carter might actually, you know, be held accountable, which is rare. Like, what? Accountability. Did you see it? I think I spotted some over there. But I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Here's my email, and I'll see you in a new video soon. Bye, guys.